On July 31, 1948, the battleship USS Nevada BB-36 was sunk by a torpedo from a Navy bomber, ending the career of possibly the most battered ship in history. Not only did the Nevada survive the Pearl Harbor attack in which she was hit by a torpedo and as many as 10 bombs and at least a minimum of 6, but she was also hit by a Japanese kamikaze suicide plane off Okinawa as well as by shore battery fire, yet easily survived those hits. Please see our other article about the USS Nevada titled, USS Nevada, America's First Super Dreadnought. After World War II, the battleship built in 1914 was deemed obsolete and was used as a target for the Abel and Baker atomic bomb tests of Operation Crossroads in the Pacific. Your clue as to how tough this ship was is that she was used in two atomic bomb tests, having survived the first surface blast and then the second subsurface blast. The mighty battleship was then used for target practice by other U.S. Navy warships, including the battleship USS Iowa. Expected to be sunk by the heavy bombardment, the Nevada kept on floating and was finally finished off with the last torpedo. It is hard to imagine any ship surviving all the conventional and nuclear weaponry thrown at the Nevada, which probably makes her the most heavily targeted ship in history. The German battleship Bismarck certainly took an incredible pounding and only sank when scuttled by her crew, almost assuredly the heaviest conventional pounding in naval history. But she did not face two nuclear bombs. The Japanese super battleships Yamato and Musashi were also sunk by the weight of incredible conventional pounding, the Musashi being sunk after receiving 17 bomb hits and 19 torpedo strikes. Yamato was sunk by at least 11 torpedoes and 6 bombs, but possibly more, and had survived previous bomb and torpedo damage in her career. Of course, neither of these mighty ships survived two atomic bombs. Nevada had been commissioned in 1916 and served in World War I without getting into any shooting combat. During World War II, she served in the Pacific, Atlantic, and then Pacific again. She brandished a main battery of 10 14-inch guns and was updated throughout her career to improve speed, protection, and firepower, especially anti-aircraft capability. She was decommissioned in 1946 and went on to her second career as a target ship. As a question for my students and subscribers, do you know of any ship that survived more vicious attacks than did the Nevada? If so, please let us know what ship you think took more damaging blows and survived than any other in the comment section below this video. If you like this video and would like to receive notification of new videos, please feel welcome to subscribe to History and Headlines and become one of our patrons. Your viewership is much appreciated.